hello and welcome to another episode of The Re-Up. My name is Jason Delgado. So much to talk about this week. My goodness. All of my little quirks and stories are out the window because everyone became a billionaire this weekend but me. Um, yeah, so crazy stuff happening on the stock market. Uh, I just got out just, just, it was so close. Um, anyway, welcome. My name is Jason Delgado. This is The Re-Up, a show where we kind of break down the week. I kind of let you know what's been going on with me, what's been going on in life, and, uh, you know, just kind of chit-chat, see what's good. I got new merch, that's something that's new. Check out my new, oh, cause we out here though, cause we out here though. Very exciting stuff. Check out the Reup store, that's reupgear.com, or dopefreshgear.com, if you're kind of hip and cool like that. But yeah, check it out, exciting stuff, very, very cool. I'm uh, trying to keep the mic out of my face this week, so I don't know how the sound's going to come out, but uh, but I'm going to be screaming a lot because I'm so excited, but in any case, check out the new gear, nice cool stuff, I got a hoodie too, I'll probably wear a hoodie next week, yeah, it's dope, you know, I'm trying to make my own billions without the stock market, but clearly I'm not fast enough, anyway, I wanted to break down a little bit what happened this week, because that's really all that was the, the, the rave uh, of the week, I am... Um, I want to check the mic to make sure it's close enough. Is it still in... Ooh, that might be a little... Bleh, 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 we'll see. Anyway, so. Um, stock market. Crazy stuff. Uh, wanted to do a little bit of a breakdown for people who didn't know sort of what was going on. Because I did a little bit of reading on Reddit. And somebody on Reddit really described it really nicely. And so I wanted to kind of break down what I found was the uh, the sort of the best explanation of really what happened this week, because everybody's a billionaire but me. But no, essentially, I used to be in the stock market too. I bought some Tesla, sold it when it made a little bump, and blah, 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 the split, and so, I don't know. I, I, the stock market, I was really worried with, like, the, the COVID and all the other stuff and previous administrations. I didn't know what was going on. So I kind of pulled the money out uh, fearfully. But scared money don't make money. Lesson learned. Um... But in any case, if you did have your money in the stock market, essentially how it works is that you're buying shares in a company. Uh, So, you know, let's say Walmart or whatever, they put shares out, you buy some shares, and now you're part shareholder of the company. So you can go to meetings and get newsletters that you'll never read, stuff like that. But some places called brokerages, good word, brokerages, um, they go ahead and and they have a bunch of these stocks, right? So there's a thing called shorting. And shorting is when these companies, hedge funds, you might have heard those, these hedge funds go to the brokerages and say, hey, I'd like to borrow a share. Let's say I borrow a share for $10. And they get that share and they immediately sell that share to somebody for $10 in the hopes that by the end of the day, that $10 share that they borrowed is going to be worth $5. Like it totally tanks. That way they get the share borrowed at 10, sell it at 10. Then these people, they're going to sell it back to them for five They buy a $5 share and make five bucks, essentially making money on companies tanking. It's kind of messed up, but I guess that's what they did to Tesla. They just borrow a bunch of shares from these brokerages. They sell off the shares immediately. Once the shares lose money, they buy back the shares for cheaper, give the shares back and pocket the change. Do this over enough times, it's billions. But. They didn't know about Reddit, though. (laughs) So here's what these Reddit guys did, essentially as a prank. They went and saw that these hedge funds were shorting a lot of these companies like GameStop and AMC Theaters. Just buying, borrowing these shares so that they could sell them off cheap, so that the stock tanks and then they could buy them back and make the money. Just making billions off of these companies just losing. GameStop in particular I thought was interesting because it was the one that made the most. It was the biggest influx. And also the irony. GameStop. Eh, beautiful. Life. Eh, in any case. 
And also there's a sort of like, these are a bunch of 19 year old kids, you know what I mean? Maybe 25 year olds or 31 year old involved in this. And these are people who are just, you know, gamers, GameStop lovers, essentially, you know what I mean? So I think it's a beautiful irony. So in any case, these Redditors, these people, got together on this internet site and they were just like, hey, why don't we buy a bunch of Game Stock or GameStop stock so that the price goes up? Because these people now borrow a $10 share, sell a $10 share, turn around, and now that share is worth 20 bucks. So they just lost 10 bucks. Take that in aggregate 70 billion times. <laughs> and that is what happened. These Redditors, these, you know, online forum kids just got together, bought a bunch of GameStop, price goes up, all these hedge funds can't cover it. They have to dump the stock $70 billion in total. I mean, amazing stuff. I mean, terrible if you're a evil hedge fund broker, but really wonderful if you're one of these redditors who, who essentially people who put in, you know, 11 grand are walking away with like 20 million. Like it's amazing stuff. It's amazing, beautiful stuff. And it's what Wall Street has been doing to us. They essentially borrow from these brokerages, sell it to us, hoping it tanks so that they can make money, making money off a tank, making money off of us, not knowing any better it's dirty, dirty games, but whatever, you know, you pay to play. That's why these guys have boats, you know what I mean? But, and the cops are coming to get me. No, they know. Uh, but I'll tell you, to hear that these people, a bunch of, you know, just essentially every man's or every woman's, or just, you know, people who are in, you know, these, these champagne drinking, uh, boat touting people got together, bought some stock, flipped it and made millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Now they're holding that stock so that they can try to kind of orchestrate the, the sort of destruction of Wall Street. It's pretty amazing. Now, second part of this story was this thing called Robinhood. And Robinhood is this app that you essentially go onto your phone. You can buy some stock, buy a piece of stock, and, and you know, live your dreams. So all these, you know, people who are nobodies were hearing about this, this, this coup where these, uh, these Reddit people were buying GameStop. So they're like, hey, I'll buy some GameStop. And everybody started buying GameStop. So they're buying, 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 buying. And this price is going up and up and up and up. I mean, we're talking about $71 to like $493. Like crazy, crazy, crazy. Right? So if you buy this much, you know, you're cashing out. You're cashing out. So this Robinhood app apparently could not cover the money. If everybody started pulling out their money, they could not cover it. Uh, so they essentially just shut down the buying of these stocks. And people lost their flipping minds, man. People were like, this is exactly what the government... you know." And then the worst off, the, the, uh, uh, one of these hedge funds, one of these capital brokerages owns the people who made the Robinhood app. So essentially the people who are m looking to lose the most money are the people who shut down the app that was making them lose the most money. Whoa. Shady, shady stuff. A little complicated, but shadier than complicated. <laughs> but essentially what it comes down to is these people sh shut down because they said they couldn't cover the VIG. If everybody started to bail out their money, they didn't have enough money. And so they shut down the purchases of it. You could still cash out of what you had, but you couldn't buy more. And that's messed up. Because, I mean, hey, you're making money. Why not make more money? Why would you have this thing that's supposed to help you make money stop you from it? It's because the people who own that thing were losing the money. And that's some shady McGatys. And that's why people are losing. And that's why there's this sort of you know movement now to, to, to go into this whole new spectrum of, of being where, where it's called cryptocurrency. I'm learning all this stuff. So much internet stuff. It's amazing. But, you know, all this, this sort of new info... Uh, about cryptocurrency, you know, I don't really know too much, but essentially what it comes down to is you know, the U.S. dollar used to be based on gold. How much gold we have is how much money we can print. But now we're just making it up, essentially. What the U.S. dollar is worth is based on like an honor system. And so what these sort of cryptocurrencies are associated with is that they're just worth what we say they're worth. 
So there's no fee to exchange this. It is accepted by certain exchanges for cash. Like, you know, you can cash out of your stock in Bitcoin. Um, But it's not based on the U.S. dollar. So it's totally separate from the U.S. dollar. It's worth a certain amount of money because we're still using money. But essentially, it's a new form. It's like a barter system. I say this cookie is worth, you know, three pieces of cheesecake because it's that good a cookie. And eh, that's a terrible analogy. But in any case, it's essentially we're making up this money. Bitcoin, where it's electronic money, where you're saying you have this much, I have this much, and it's worth this much. But now, because the U.S. dollar is kind of like on shady ground and people are kind of you know, hiding behind these these brokerages and these sort of, you know, billionaire hedge funds so that they can stop regular people from becoming rich. Everybody's thinking about moving into this new Bitcoin where, you know, essentially, you know, we decide how much it's worth. You know, we have a certain amount. We decide how much it's worth. And it's not based on this U.S. dollar. It's not based on this exchange of, like, they can shut us down or they can say, you can't make any more money. Because then we could essentially just transfer the money. It's not like going through a bank. It's simply going through us. (sighs) It makes my head hurt, too. But apparently, if you have some, you're really, really smart. (laughs) Because Elon Musk is talking about it. All these people are putting it up as their hashtag, hashtag Bitcoin, get yourself some Bitcoin, be rich, be Bitcoin. And they're saying in the next 10 years, it's going to be a real currency. You can go buy a sandwich with a Bitcoin. Um, it seems crazy. I mean, it seems like the, the, the world is sort of flipping upside down and once again. And, and, and you know, d- despite, you know, new regime, there's still craziness, you know. I will say that it is getting better that things are opening up in L.A., You know, restaurants are kind of getting their groove back, being able to go out, have a drink, live your life, beautiful stuff. Um, People getting vaccinated. You know, people are, you know, starting to kind of loosen up again. It's good. It's good to see that there's there's a little bit more community, people out in the world again. Uh, Because it was getting a little bit claustrophobic again when those numbers were going up and there was no vaccine. Um, But yeah, now with all this, like, stock market stuff and this cryptocurrency stuff, it's like... Oh man, my head hurts. I gotta learn finance. I gotta be a finance. I gotta be the Wolf of Wall Street. But I just, I feel like I do want to verse myself a little bit in it. I kind of wanted to know a little bit of the story of what was going on and why these, you know, why all these people were making all this money. Because I kind of know a little bit about stocks. You know, you buy a stock for $10, it goes up to $15, you made money, right? But this sort of short deal where these places are just borrowing on stocks that they don't own selling off borrowed stocks to make money like ugh, it's just it's it's very very dirty and it's funny because a movie like the big short you know a very very funny movie uh, you know they did this little margot robbie in the bathtub thing and i'll tell you they didn't explain anything like this <laughs> you know they didn't really really break it down despite trying to sort of keep our interest you know they didn't break it down the way they should have and this is really kind of the interesting way the way that they really should have where it's really based on this borrow system it's not even like you're borrowing to get a thing, to sell a thing, so that it fails to make money? I don't know, man. Like Now I get it, because more things fail than succeed, so that's how you make money. But to see the, you know, the, the regular people, the regular folks coming together to, to, to get back at Wall Street, make money on their own, I, I thought it was a beautiful thing. And I had to know how. And it was simple. Buy the stock they bet is going to lose. And that's what they did. And they won, you know? And it was really, really crazy to see, like, you know, there was videos of, like, this guy flipping out and throwing his chair. Like, these hedge fund people are going on to, like, CNBC, and they're like, you're ruining the world! <coughs> Even, like, Jimmy Kimmel. Like, there, was, there was a bit where Jimmy Kimmel was on a, doing a monologue, and he's like, you know, the, these people are going on. They're, they could be, you know, regular people. They could be Russian conspirators, but they're going in. It's like, Russian conspirators? Like, whoa, is Disney having them tell a line right now? Uh, I don't know. It was, it was very, very kind of weird what's been going on and how you, when you really see, like, now, you know, who's who and, and who's in and who's out. Because, you know, honestly, follow the money and it gets a little scary to see that these billionaires start losing money and then all of a sudden things start shutting down and propaganda starts going out. And it was a little bit creepy. It's a little bit creepy. I don't like it. Bitcoin. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how it works. 
<laughs> but I will say that it is really interesting to see that, you know, times are changing, you know, like money is changing. Like what, what finances are is changing. Who's able to make money, how is changing. And, uh, and I think it's a really interesting thing to learn about, even though uh, that crypto stuff is still hurting my head. I think a cryptocurrency is, I give you my Netflix password, you give me your Disney Plus. <laughs> That's our currency, crypto. Uh, but yeah, little by little, I'm kind of versing myself in it, getting, uh, getting some knowledge in it, learning some understanding on it. Um, but you can help me with my Bitcoin investments by investing in some new re-up gear. This and other beautiful re-up gear accessories are available at reupgear.com. Um, and that's going to be it for today. There's really not too, too much. I mean, everything this week for me was just like kind of getting the, the, the stock market thing going. I just wanted to see. I still don't have any, any skin in the game yet. Uh, it's still just a little too crazy. I hear about this thing called Dogecoin, which is like another Bitcoin. Ugh, my head hurts. I'm not ready for it yet. Once I have a little bit more expendable income, I'll, I'll start playing around with some of this stuff. But scared money don't make money. Uh, it's complex. But in any case, this has been lots of fun. My name is Jason Delgado. This has been The Rhea. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on the gram. Follow me on the tubes. And, uh, and yeah, as always, a pleasure. We will see you on the next one.